Hello and welcome to the wonderful world of Middle Earth, or something like that. At least I am just as adjusting a little feedback blend into my headphones to get the proper balance going for the adventure that is at hand. And I think also my microphone might be a little bit hotter on the game setting that I need it to be. But this, this seems appropriate. So I'm not really uh, blowing out the microphone too much. Good, 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 good. Here we are, and we are prepared for the trials at hand, I would submit, because we have to take on Captain Phaelon, his trolls, his beasts, and, of course, his orcs. Let's courage, be about men. the business of smacking up these boogers, so that we can uh, unite the northern and southern end of, well, Gondor and Harondor. There's a slight challenge to this, in that we have to deal with trolls and, um... Beasts. Without much in the way of, uh, javelins. Actually, none at all. Um, the best we can do are do like bodyguards. But they are, f I mean, they are amazing, uh, in their own little way. Being, essentially, javelineers with, with, uh, 230 meter range. Um, so, you know, love those guys to bits, but there are only 46 of them. So I'm thinking we'll have to focus archer fire on the on uh, the beasts and use cavalry to smack up their trolls a bit. Especially because they are the slightly weaker trolls. Um, <laughs> Then we have a bunch of different units. So, units that are good for holding off up the beasts and trolls and stuff would probably be the Lamarin clansmen. And then the pikes because they're pikes. So we're going to employ them. Uh, with the purpose of putting them in between beasts and archers, essentially. And so they'll need a bit of distance. Then we have all the rest. And uh, they will find themselves on the flanks. Ready to engulf whatever infantry battalions they come up with. And they are probably going to come up with quite a few of those buggers. Hmm. And are they just going to stand there? It does seem rather likely, doesn't it? But in the meantime, we just uh, admire the general attire of our forces. I mean, it is a pretty nice looking army all around. Haldir is a fine fellow and he can afford fine stuff for his men. And our cavalry can just move up the slope and then eventually come down upon them. They have one unit of archers in this entire army, excluding, of course, the ranged capabilities of the beast riders. So that, of course, makes this battle slightly less complicated than it otherwise might have been. And they just uncompromisingly stand there doing nothing. Which means that we're going to have to uh, settle some scores the hard way. So on to the beasts you go. They have some archers but they're not enough to scare me off. 
Okay, they have two battalions of archers, it seems. Okay, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Not completely defenseless, then. Let's see what this does. Oh, that, yeah, yeah, a couple are gone already. Okay, could be a better result, but it's not too bad. And we're going to follow that up with another one. Southern Lancers. Well, those guys cannot hold a candle to our infantry or our cavalry, so... I'm not too com, uh, com, some uh, too. I'm I'm, I'm pretty comfortable is what I'm gonna say, pretty comfortable. With their presence. So six trolls remaining. Good job. So these guys are essentially gonna be the troll killers. Oops! Out. And now down from the hills they come. Halberdiers, Moranon, God. Okay, we're gonna go for the Black Oryx then. Blood Masters going into the South and Lancers, doing a great job. How's it going over here? You know, not too bad, not too bad. Just need to get it together for the final charge, and these guys didn't really do that, so... We're gonna make another final charge! Yay! What's happening with the beasts? Not too much. Okay. So far, so good. Five trolls left there, six trolls left there. So, if you play your cards right, you can absolutely take down trolls with cavalry. Orc Maulers coming in. That's a perfect target for our rangers, actually. Halberdiers, also a decent target, but oh, look at that. Great beasts are in range. Meaning the Great Beasts will be... Actually, that just means that everybody will be shooting the Great Beasts when possible. Make it so, my men. Make it so. Oh, you guys didn't really make it into battle the way I wanted you to. And uh, neither did you. Come on. Come on, guys. Get stuck with it. Uh, you guys charge. Be in loose formation. That should make you less... Exposed to the harmful ways of the beasts. Uh, pikemen doing lovely things against Black Oryx, and uh, some Armsmen can do their thing too. Archers just keep on hammering the beasts, please. And then we have these guys in need of uh, action. Trolls are charging into our infantry, but actually that's not too bad. We can deal with that. So, how are we doing on the beasts? Still shooting, still beating away. Blade masters doing their thing. Running guard fleeing for our cavalry. Very nice. Cavalry, how are you doing? You're doing okay. <laughs> the trolls are beginning to fall, finally. Very nice. Right. 
Do the thing. You need to do something about the infantry down there. Black Oaks, how are they feeling after that charge there? A bit worse for the wear, it would seem. But still hanging on. Clinging to hope. Halberdier is coming in. The enemy are That's okay, bloodied. we can deal with them. They have lost half their men. You 24. Go and start shoot uh, smack up some archers, please. Okay, how are we doing on these beasts? Finally starting to fall. Cavalry, start focusing on them too. Mm-hmm. Let's try to route their archers. Losing some infantry to us. That's nice. Quite good, quite good. Come on, keep hammering at those beasts. Oh, they're running a mock. Okay, then uh, I'm actually not that worried about them. Maybe it seems a bit worried, but not too much. Because this means we can focus on their infantry now. Everything else is gone. Cavalry. A wonder on their archers. And I'm going to have some tea. An Earl Grey derivative. Sort of. It's a black tea with some citrus in it. I mean, it's not a million miles away, no matter how you spin it. Okay. Archers, maybe you should just keep shooting at those beasts. I mean, why not? You've sort of done your thing at this point. Albedeers fighting to the death. Oops, hello, Albedeers. In need of a lift, eh? In need of a lift. Always with these orcs. Need to be carried to places. Well, we will carry them all right. Capture them, then carry them. Good tidings. The enemy general lies dead. General is dead. The beasts will now be dead very soon as well. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. Yeah, we're good here today. Be awed by the victory we have won here today. Laman and Klansman, 268. An impressive tally. Losing only 49 troops? Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Beating even the Blade Masters to the punch. So, an, a promising initial test for the army. Healing some Blade Masters and some cavalry. Yeah, very good, very lovely. I like it, I like it. Let's continue. Victory! Well. That is one army that yes, won't be coming lord. back. Your orders, my lord. Yes, my lord. Your orders, my lord. And then there's this Come one. Get me, you yes. A less challenging one because it's nothing but infantry and archers. And some Athelian rangers, interestingly enough. What are they doing on that side, though? I... I no one knows. Nobody knows, and we don't care particularly. No, we're going to take them on and take them out anyhow. Attack! Haldir is the man for the job, don't you know? And then after that, we're cleared for taking the Thillian, and we can move on with our lives. Wasn't this meant to be like a forested region? I, I feel like it's pretty barren for the most part. Anyhow, let's not worry too much about that. What matters is that we have the hill today. Let's 
to take all the infantry and just put them in one big blob. One big blubbery gar. And then we have a blob of cavalry. Everything is blobby today. Uh, fan them out into a sensible position. Shoot them, my men! Shoot them! Oh, you've already shot quite a few of the rangers. Do our eight uh, rangers have uh, armor upgrades, actually? Uh, yeah, they seem to get sort of a... leather armory thing going compared to these. Eh, uh, not sure though. Not sure though. Whatever they get is pretty minor. Minor change. So, this is the time in which we shoot at their melee forces and charge down their archers. All of them. Ah, we have some blade masters coming in. We can help too. Somehow. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. So far, so lovely. Ooh, there's some halberdiers over there, bunching up in a really wonderful way. One w desires to take advantage. Or one desires the taking off advantage. Just to make it into a nounable thing, grammatically speaking. Maybe we should just run our infantry out into these arches. Just mow them down. Come on. Run them down, my friends. Run them down. Their melee troops will be diminished slightly by our archer battalion. Look at them run. Look at them go. Fleeing as fast as they can before the Dunedain Roadshow. Hmm. Huh. I mean, it's, it feels quite chaotic, this uh, scene here, but um, I feel like we've got it under control, Major. We've got it under control. What, you're off taking a stroll? No, Major, we've got it under control. Essentially, just barreling down a hill here. All right, Black Urics coming forth. We want to welcome them in the highest of spirits, and of course, we have some Blade Master to help the do that. Well. Badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Just trying to break them up wherever possible. And those guys flee, and those guys are gonna flee as well very soon. Oh yeah, there they go. Goodbye.
We've been a bit blasé with the cavalry this time. But we'll get them back. We'll get them back. They always come back. Please the field. Pursue and run them down. Good work, everybody. The enemy is defeated yet again. By the victory we have won here today. Haldir and the Rebel Saga is drawing to a close. That's another camp sacked for us. Glorious victory. And then there's the taking. Yes, my lord. We shall your orders, my lord. As you yes, my lord. Orders. Your will, my lord. Time for putting two and two together. My lord. Once or twice. My lord. My lord. Yes. There we are. That's an army, isn't it? Feels like one for sure. Um, now, was there anything else left to be done on this very turn before we give over the control to the whims of the gods? Your will, my lord. Your orders, my lord. The uh, my lord. Well, gods of this universe, anyway. <laughs> I think we're pretty much uh, in where we want to be. Perth and Loon is in the siege. Before is, um, well, figuring out his place in the world. And I guess that is sort of what we want to do. We'll just have a few troop movements to complete. As you wish. We'll make camp here. We can go to will, my lord. March to exhaustion. Continuing later. Yeah. So far, so beautiful. Down to the south, Umbar just retraining like crazy. Khaldun will do the same eventually, but just needs the war camps and all that jazz. Well, I think we all want to be. There will be Let's end another turn and you. see what will become of it all. Uh, -bum 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 -bum. Oh yes. Shall oh, I forgot about that. Okay, the siege of austinity. Okay. Yes. Fair enough. We have a rune, a nation to subdue over there, and Enid Wyth refuses subjugation as well. Well, let's be at it then. Odian. Coming along. With a marbled mess of garbage. And then we have some middling troops in the town itself. Alright, well, I mean, I mean, they're not coming with nothing. It's just that it's quantity over quality, isn't it? And we try to go the other way, mostly. Although we also do have some unupgraded militia, so... Who am I to talk? Courage, men. We march into battle. However, what we will be able to do is see whether this army can pull through and just land another decisive blow against the Wildman. Hmm, and we have a little hill as well. Hmm. Now what we definitely have over these buggers is cavalry. As well as good spearmen. We're gonna largely set up on this hill, I think. I mean, that just. Look at this thing. 
It's quite charming. Then we have one cavalry team over here. And we have another cavalry team over here. And we have a trebuchet and we shall set it to shoot at will and with fire ammunition. The and enemy then are bringing all in reinforcements. Glorious. Come my friends, we have a job to do. It is to subjugate a wildman or two. They may not like this particular brand of subjugation, but then we never really cared much for the wants of this nation. Just like they never cared much for our desires as a people. We wanted to be at peace, at least with these buggers. And never did they even entertain the notion of being at peace with us. And as such, they will simply have to contend with death today. Charge into this Tauta, please. And then here. Tauta? Yeah. I'll charge into those all day. Alright, cavalry has punched a hole in them a bit. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Hello there, foul and border guards, you sneaky bastards. Border guards, Tauta. Okay. We can deal with that. Border guards routing. Men of Gondor. Hello, border guards. Ready to taste an axe? And then some hooves. Yeah. This will be over pretty soon. Go to work, dear knights. There's some skirmishes over there, they need a good kicking. Good shot, guys, but uh, I think that'll be the last shot from you guys. Oh, because you just inadvertently routed our cavalry. Got a bit squeamish about the whole exploding ammunition going into open flames around you thing. Um, so. That's a tip for morale. Don't, uh, you know, don't overdo the exploding ammunition thing. <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. Gotta get the guardsman. Up sheath elders. Those guys can be menacing against cavalry. In fact, so I'm just going to try to avoid them quite sneakily and stealthily and uh, shoot them with bows instead. Hey, you guys, you still have a trebuchet. You'll use it eventually.
Citadel Guard fighting the Border Guards. It's like one of the worst spears in the game against one of the very best. So how do they feel? Not that positive, apparently. They think they might be losing. They might be losing. Well, I'll have me some tea, thank you very much. This is when focus come uh, is shifted towards breaking Our the enemy. Slain the enemy general. Without him, his troops will lose. Their and there we fight. go. That's pretty much that. Ah, hello, Pinskellen. Nice of you to join us. And the other enemy army has just managed to enter the field. Time to press the attack. Right on time for watching their friends get trampled upon. One wonders how they like their chances. Seems they're just trying to run away. What's that over here? I think my, I see myself a victim. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. And here is a foe. A foe worthy of our bow. So, does that kick them into gear? Not meaningfully, no. Units, move out. But he's still calling for them to move out. One wonders where they are supposed to be moving off to. They just continue to stand there and get shot. And now, we're gonna have a whole infantry army. Right on their shins. Ah, finally they come. They've decided that enough is enough, and they'd like to meet us in battle, so let us meet them. Come dear friends. The 
battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Schmark. Schmark. The and they the just thing. all run away. That was quick. Oh no, just pin down the forces, charge something with a cavalry unit, doesn't even matter which one, just the whole regiment just collapses. Excellent. The enemy are utterly vanquished. So, even this without our finest on the field, we still managed to do some the decent stuff. Of generals. Gondor Cavalry 309. Very, very good work, my friends. Gondor Cavalry 344. Ah, oh, who could really ask for more? Let's hope we have many more such battles. And the clans of Endwise, they A wise choice, my lord. We'll can be ransomed off. But they can't afford it. They strike out at our navy. We should disengage. The but end up just no giving mercy. them a ride home. They attack Dunyard, but no won't break the walls. The Every gesture they make is important. Victory. My lord, ah, hello there, Rune. You come to Mistrand, but you come not too soon. We're ready for you. We must make a stand. We are besieged. You buggers. And then there is Morfindir. Attacked by a superior foe, at least in terms of numbers. We'll take them on, no problem. They come to the Morphe Mithril Mansion. Attack! Attacking us at the gates of Moria, it would seem. Tide of battle seems to have turned against us. We must act and halt this turn of events. And so very welcome shall they be. I've always enjoyed this battle map. It's very simple. And it is no worse off for it. So, these are our archers, they do not run away. Our horse archers though. Should we send them out just for a lark? Just to see what they do? Hmm, maybe. Maybe we should keep them in here. Now this map may be, have been made for the dwarves. But we shall make good use of it as well. Essentially, I'm hoping that we can charge into their backs a little bit. I don't find it incredibly likely that we'll be able to, but on the off chance, I'm definitely going to try. And our archers can just about reach the gate in present positions. Look at these lovely chaps. Curses. And uh, 
Fancy swanky chain mail armor. The enemy's ram has breached the gates. I'm gonna have some tea for this one. The walls are no longer ours. The enemy have taken them. So here they come. Black Pit Infantry. Met initially by a lot of arrows. Time to shoot them, I think. Halberds in particular. And they're, they're going for it. They're going for the Blade Masters. Goblin bodyguards, we can shoot them. You know what? Those wargs, yeah. They're also pretty tempting. Good, good. Okay. So. They try to fight the blade masters. But they are no masters of blades. All we shall do is give them a clue and they shall flee here in spades. Okay. Um. Wow. Okay. They are really making a spirited attempt at breaking this line over here. So far, so good. 30% of them, 5% of ours, with us being at number 2 to 1. I mean, far be it from me to declare success already, but... I declare success already! Come, my friends. Oh, look at this. Look at this. They really are trying to break through, though. You have to give it to them. They don't give up for nothing. Oh, they're fighting back, the bastards. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Pray something changes in the course of battle. For defeat, the enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their Shoot men. those wogs, please. So fall the coat. Oh, some snagger skirmishers trying to make it through. Yeah, surely they will be the ones to beat the odds. You 26 lovely lads, can you make it into the flanks of those halberdiers? I, mean, I think that would be a Something worthwhile endeavor. Of of battle, for defeat seems dum da da dum dum da da da. Defeat seems almost certain. Where is this guy getting his rumors from? The back of a cracker package? What's going on? Pack of a the back of a packet of biscuits. Mm. Biscuits, crackers, depending on where you're from, of course. I can be accommodating. I can be accommodating. Uh, those wogs, they, they take, they can tear themselves some Dunedain cavalry. Keep them at a distance. 
distance. Battle seems to be swinging in our favor. From such tidings does victory emerge. Aha! Walked down. Rangers activated. Pound, pound, pound. But they are actually getting some folks through. Not for long, though. Not for long. Soon they feel the call, and they run back to be stabbed once more. Oh, one single guy declaring it to be go time. One single bloody skirmisher. Scouts. Our foe has taken control. Our foe has lost control of the city. Our men have slain the enemy general. A worthy enemy, but no Oops. less dead for that. Trushak Conqueror of Goblin advantage. Down. That's been a bloody while ago that he conquered that place. It's go time. It's go time. Oh, the enemy we shot him. Vanquished. And a blind this angle in as that. Worthy of only the mightiest of generals. 250 Dunedain Rangers, top spot. Dunedain Rangers, top spot. Those lovely lads, they never cease to amaze. We stand vigilant and then the they us. turn around say we couldn't take the Morphe Mithril Mansion. And so they go for Tharbad instead. With their leader dead, oh dear. And then Hanleon comes to Ostsul, adopted. He's a little bit lazy, but maybe we can move that out of him. Swordsman's Guild? Yeah, sure, sure. Yes, my lord. I will not waste words hmm, on you. interesting. An army worth our lord, time. Now, could these buggers actually take Ostsul in the I will not waste words on you. A good question. It remains to be seen. I'm gonna go for armorers in Dunlarak. Some little troops here and there. Siege works, royal barracks, those kind of things. And Gandidum, 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 you will retrain the steel bowmen. So many lovely things being built in lovely places. So tell Al Jaff. You will need a school, that's for sure. And Argond. You'll need a school as well. Thank you, Toby. Thank you for your services. And then perhaps this army can actually move on. With honor, your will, my lord. Eh, maybe. You know, it's not that far off actually. It's not that far off. We can get Cardlan units here. That's very nice. I like that. Um, you know, I think if we go for a do that war camp first, then we can build a school, and then we'll see what happens. But 
that's a good order of things. First we start with security and then we, uh, yep, you know, go full throttle on the whole yes, conversion no. business. Yes. And then these guys are just gonna with honor, we shall come and get me. smash their way down towards the duty. University in Bile, it seems like a viable strategy. And um, after that, you know, the war camps, the guard posts, the good things that lead to a good life. Speaking of a good life, As you command, we shall Mood Speaker Lulach. You sit there with not very much at all, and Chameleon the Defender may have a few wrinkles at this point, but that's just because he's 50. You're 75, man! What are you doing? I mean, your moisturization program is on point, for sure. But anyway, Chameleon the Defender is going to add a little bit of aggression to his name. This, this way. And goodbye. No more moot leaders for a you, my friends. You might even say that it, right now, it will be an honor with things be yes, being the way they are, defending yourselves against the storm at hand is a bit of a shall prevail. moot yes. point. No. Nah. Am I being silly? I'm being very silly. Your orders, my lord. But only with good cause. Starbad, you'll be okay. You have so many good troops in there. You've steel bowmen contingents. You have armsmen. You have blade masters. It's all looking good. It's all looking good. Hello, Gaznag. Strange person. Strange creature of desire and grift. Man of the hour, Hilly Guidor. Yeah, thank you very much. Yes, I'll have him. And Hanion was, of course, adopted into the family and promptly yes. decided to leave of Sul. We no well, well, we can build, build a tower and go back and life is good. Camp here. Will, These guys can go to of Sul. Find retraining. We can take these guys. Bring them toward us, Soul. Everybody just go to us, Soul. Still Bowman and Turn Gurthiad. I like it. I will have more of these buggers. I will have Metrite in an upgradable position before too long. I remember something about having a fleet in these waters. Ah yes, Admiral Pelendur. Ships ready. Yes, sir. Full there we are. Very nice. Your will, my lord. And then we have these buggers. They can go to whatever region this is. We can go no further. Fort Trio. Gandalf's itinerary like. Ah oh, yes, we have a last stand army. 
After the distraction of Dol Guldur. Hmm. Go figure. Apparently they don't like it when they when we take their Orders. most prized possession. And what do I know? I'm just the waiter. I don't even know. I'm just serving justice to these people. My lord. Apparently they don't like it very much. Your orders, my lord. Yes, my lord. Yes. Your will, my lord. Yes. We'll make camp here. March to exhaustion, continuing later. Orders. As you wish. Ooh, more rangers? Give it to me. I will have all the rangers I can get. Thank you. Cassast, can you get some hmm, axemen? It will be a while, it will be a while they say. By your command. Oh, but things are progressing very well when we get wardens up to Tower and Ascilius. And, of course, Guards of Ascilius. Kalanad, you should be able to retrain some cavalry, and you are. Just, you know, while we're going on the whole training kick. How are things going in Mordor, I wonder? Yes. We'll make we're sending troops here. east, because we can't be always. And we're also sending more troops east. Oh, what's going on here? With honor. Yes. We shall your will, my lord. Yes, my lord. My lord. I will not waste words on you. Yes. Okay, a mighty Join big army is coming here. I will not waste words on you. I Maybe it's bad. Maybe it's good. We won't know until we stand right in front of it, staring a lot of them in the eyes. The uh, Mo Ranon is becoming a cavalry hub. This is pretty nice. I like it when I get a lot of cavalry. I'm gonna send my lot of cavalry towards to Morigost. Because from Morigost, we'll we will be here. able to make strikes against Nurl, I'm thinking. So we have troops that can sort of continue east to the town that's over here. And then we can rid this place of their presence. And then there's this runic army. Let's have a battle, you all. But shall we start with Eanur? I think we should. There's only Khan Mukalku in there. He can't defend against all of us at once. He will need to succumb. And he shall. Muster your courage, men! We march into battle! We'll take this place. It'll rid them of another key outpost in their realm. They will feel increasingly threatened. Out of options. Underfunded. These guys will be slightly less useful than the rest, but in the end we might just resort to a little charging jamboree. Because this is a big square. And our cavalry can do a lot of good stuff in there. Now we just need them to vacate the gate. If they'd be so kind. Come Rune, come, come. You know you want to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Lovely. <laughs> and then we have the rest. And we'll be sending them in to different corners of the town. So that we can do some lovely cavalry flanking stuff.
Bang, 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 pull you back. Bang that gate, bang gate it battery. down, bang it till the doors are on the ground. Or we could just ring the bell and send our enemies to hell, whichever you prefer. The battering ram has done its work. So, we have some cavalry that will go around here. The ones with better stamina. We'll be going this way. Walls. And this way. And this way. The others will be going this way. And this way. No, no. Mm. You know what? Maybe we can. I don't know why you want to go in there specifically, but you know what? Maybe we can actually do something with it. We want the general to go in there. They're basically ignoring us. Which is a bold strategy I've never seen before, you know. It's the uh, AI desire of doing nothing. Knights of a Thelen. Come over here. Shoot your bows. It's going to be a lot of fun, believe you me. Enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. We'll protect these lands. And there we have them. There'll be barely anyone left by the time we're done. There might actually even be no one left. Firing squad time. Good tidings. They seem to want the enemy it. Enemy general lies dead. Be um, awed by the victory we have won here today. Wonderful stuff. The bodyguards pulling their weight once again. And as we come back, the borders of this realm has shifted yet again. An honourable, glorious victory! My lord, our courage and honour have conquered! A god barracks. How cute. Oh, practice range. Goodbye. Stables? Nah. Not needed. No. Is there anything in here we can sort of do without? Oh yes, a clan with barracks. Goodbye to that one. I'm thinking we should send some troops from Balorn up to Lornangren. And then we can uh, take Kuruyan and get him to a better place. And then we'll gather a navy over here. Ready to challenge the apparent dominance of Vanilla Weiss. Speaking of challenging the dominance of his wife, the Silver Swan. Your will, my lord. To the ships. Wait. 
These fellows can be retrained, but so they shall be. Good day. Goodly, goodly, goodly. Your orders, my lord. As you command. Dwellin, do you think you can take Burton? Uh, I think you can. We and Chow Card is ours. A most noble conquest. Hmm, Hall of the Brotherhood we can keep. That's basically it because it's only ever been a Variac settlement. Nevertheless, we're doing well. Umba challenged by the usurper Ruga. Oh, we'll be okay. We have the troops to make it all. Keep sending troops down. Yes, we could go no further today. March to exhaustion, continuing later. Your will, my lord. I'm an Ithel. You can also send some troops. As you wish. We'll then from Khaldun shall a mighty stroke be landed against. Well, whatever that castle was called. I forget. I forget. I'm sorry, guys. I forget what that castle was called. It's not at the forefront of my mind right now. I do not seek trouble. Ships ready. Oh, hello, Eredan. Yeah. Fighting Go into that navy. Life will be good. Ships ready. And by Melody, you have a. Ships ready. Whole army to land in this region. To That's a pretty darn good one too. No yeah. I will not waste words on you. Can bullet. Can bullet. You will be smashed. There is no other way. It's all down to smashing. Smash, smash, and smash again. By your command, march to exhaustion, continuing later. We can go no further today. We'll make camp here. Yes, my And then there is Host Eti. Halion sitting in there with the, some renegade rangers and whatnot, but... You know, maybe we should let Haldir lead the charge, but he doesn't have siege equipment, we so he can't. Fair enough. Yes, my lord. To Smash! An honorable, the theal is in the hands. My lord, our courage Ball and honor Goodbye. Conquered. Archer range. Goodbye. Build a library. Your orders, my lord. And then yes. Haldir's brigade moves on. We shall continue tomorrow. I'm gonna stick you. One wonders when they're actually going to attack us at this point. Yes, my lord. Seems less likely by the day that they ever yes. will. Dolgodur must be frightened.
With honor, frightened of the power they have seen. Will keep vigil over the lands. I guess I'd be frightened too. So I can empathize. Have a taste of my blade. But maybe there's precious little time for empathy in this world. At least, that's how it feels to me. Your will, my lord. So we'll probably have to call it quits for this episode pretty soon. Yes, my lord. Pretty soon. Let's just briefly look over how things are going here in the north. Your orders, my lord. Before Once standing point. there, bereft of initiative as ever, Perthaloon sits there. We shall engage. Captain Floor. Having to stand with light troops against the might of a Dunedain army. But of course against Kuyon, who is not the best commander, it would seem. Yes, my lord. Booger. <laughs> One does want a decent general when assaulting a place like that. You may just be called upon to take on Dwildin, who is nothing but an army of generals, it seems. Haven't you heard the phrase, too many cooks in the kitchen will cock things up? Hmm. Maybe not. Judging by this. Because there's a kitchen over there to the west of our position, and it's mightily full of cocks indeed. <sighs> Nevertheless, though, yes. no further, things are proceeding no. at a steady and strong pace. And more troops are being trained at Four of the Sterain. A beautiful sight, if you ask me. Not that you need to ask me, but you know. Yes, so my lord. I'm just hoping my uh, position seems any Honor, sort of relevant we shall continue tomorrow. to you, because I do enjoy playing this game with you all, and you know, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. We're going to have a lot of steel bowmen very soon, and we're going to have some steel bowmen fighting goblins down here in Tharbad, apparently. Well, it's going to be fun. Donner, yes. That's gonna be happening. As you wish. Dunlarach. Gonna be happening to a lesser degree, but um, perhaps still. And there's lots of deal up there. Ready to be besieged. My lord. But by whom? My lord. Well, by Thorangil. I think he's just gonna go for it, actually. We shall prevail. Yes. Yes. And he can bring with him some lovely friends. And if they then want to attack us on the bridge, I shall welcome that wholeheartedly. Let's also just make sure that the Morphe Mithril Mansion will be in good hands for another good while to come. Those are mostly ceremonial retrainings though. We are going to need some additional training capacity in this place. But that is why we're building a Dunedain Barracks, everybody. And then we'll be doing some armor upgrades after that. Oh! The goblins are trying Glory to challenge the, the dwarves with insufficient numbers. You know, you'd I think that warrior, with all that anymore. has been established about the Tolkien Orders. universe, goblins would realize that their strength lies in numbers. Have a taste of my blade. But some concepts are apparently a bit hard to grasp for these people. Orders. Your will, my lord. Yes. 
March to exhaustion, Not that this will stop later, us from as you wish. sending soldiers their way. We shall not uh, under underestimate them. Yes, underestimate them in the way that they Always seem to have to us. To you, yeah. We'll be very kind, very loving, and very firm and very hard. I'm gonna stick you. Best not think into that too much. Your people as if they were my own friend. Your will, my lord. Yes, my lord. Oh yes, Gund needs a project. Library for you, my friends. Library for you. A brawler's pit? No, don't want to see it. Dungeon? Fine. Practice range, though? No. Walk breeder? No. Time of barracks? No, 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 no. With a double side of nay. I'd like to recuperate that, please, and make some money. Also a great place to recruit some beautiful, wonderful Amrothians. Hmm. Ah, it's all progressing rather well, isn't it? 94 regions and counting. Austria just being the one of the last last examples. Your orders, my lord. My lord. So at this point, yes, my things lord. will have to move. I will not waste words on you. Your orders, my lord. Shall we have one last yes, battle before lord. we go? Just a quick little one I against good Gukti. I will not waste words on you. I suppose we should. Let's make it happen. We have some Arthurine knights, and they are absolutely shaman. We shall chomping at the bits, as they say, to take on this gump. This look thing. Look, it's the look no something. The look gump something. The rim rim rim. The look rim, as it were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no matter how much look rim you're throwing at me, Rune, I am not going to budge. This place is mine. Attack! And if you hadn't realized that, that's kind of a you problem. I, I'm not liable for your. Absolutely appalling interpretation of the facts. So, with the evidence presented before you, I hope we can all agree that the claim to these lands falls to me. Infantry, march! Actually, make it a bit speedy if you can. Archers, why don't you focus on their pikes? They seem to have a bloody boatload of them. There's a bit of rain, which is annoying, but we can deal with that. Charge the archers, make them a little uneasy about their prospects in this battle. Continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Here comes the cavalry, they come to charge the enemy, and they will take them down. Down to fight, down to go, and down for the count they fall. 
Um. Hello there. Want to cha challenge the uh, supremacy of the the Rangers of Athelion? is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Oh, they're running away. The enemy the general abandons his entire army seems to be buggered. And they can't see any other alternative than simply to flee with their tail between their legs. We've captured the enemy's general. And that'll teach the cowardly dog to turn tail and run. Only half the enemy force remains. Just smash them, boys. Give them a night out. They won't forget anytime soon, please. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. Lovely. Continue, my friends, continue. Be awed by the victory we 74 have won here lost today. against over a thousand killed. Dear than cavalry leading the charge. And losing, at the end of the day, no one because they healed the bench. But I do like bodyguards. My lord, they're good. Especially with their accuracy improved by, you know, experience. A wonderful thing indeed. Not do this. Oh, they're asking us not to do something. Maybe that means we should actually do it. No. We have triumphed. Your orders, my lord. Hello, Dorothalu. Dorothalu. It seems like the call of some childhood game or something. Dorothalu. As you command, we shall prevail. Yes. Yeah. They'll be gone within a season. On One thinks. I will not waste words on you. Borven. Yes. Up to Austin Reedy. We'll we go. Oh yeah, here. yeah. It's gonna we'll be nice. Yes. We're well, doing here the gatekeeper. And his mission shall be the subject of our next episode. Huh. Our first is ours. Hooray for that. But uh, there's much that we must still do in our effort to contend with all the things room. But, I mean, just having a brief look at things. You can tell that they're sort of stalling, but oh, they're also gaining territory, actually. Hmm, okay. So maybe they're actually doing better than we think and they we're just uh, chipping away at their bottom while they are gaining in the top, so to speak. Yeah, yeah. I've met people like that. A little annoying, but... It is what it is. It is what it is. For the rest of it, let's look at our enemies. Dwarves of Erdluin, not really doing much good. Bree's doing just fine. Rohan. Surviving. Dunland, dead. Moria, dying. Gundabad. Eh, they're doing okay. Angmar, dead. Harad, eh. Kand. Huh. Yeah. Struggling. Ardenaim, dead. Dolgaldur. Actually, not doing too bad. But they are beginning to break. And Enidwyth. 
Yeah, they're quite the losers at the moment. Ooh. Yeah, a steady slope down and then <laughs> plummet. Not easy to be them by any stretch. And my heartfelt apologies go out to you, dear Wildman. But you did attack us after all, so... Maybe that's uh, some food for thought for next time. And speaking of next time, I hope you'll have a lovely, lovely couple of days until the next episode of the Reunited Kingdom hits your screen. And until then, I simply hope that you stay healthy with a good bladder and a lovely spleen. And I will see you very soon. <laughs>